This question asked me to calculate the rotational density of this given vector field, f of x, y, and z, at the point 0, 1, 2, around the unit vector in the direction of 1, 1, 1. Okay, so in the textbook, we're given a little formula that tells us rotational density. And it is the curl of F evaluated at a point P dotted with a normal vector. So I'm given my point P, 0, 1, 2. And I'm not given a normal vector, but I'm given 1, 1, 1 and told that the normal vector is in that direction. So let's start by turning that into a normal vector. I'm just going to divide it by its magnitude. So I have 1 over root 3 as its, I have root 3 as its magnitude, so. That's what my normal vector looks like. So I've got that. Now I just need to find the curl of F. So to do that, I'm going to erase this normal vector so I have a little bit more space. And to find the curl of F, I'm going to use a matrix in cofactor expansion. So the first row of the matrix is just going to be the vector components i, j, and k. And I want to think about this like a cross product of the gradient operator and F. So the second row is just going to be the gradient operators. And the third row is going to be the vector components of F. So yz, e to the x, and x squared plus y squared. And you want to use a cofactor expansion to find this vector. So for the i component, I'm going to cut the top row and the leftmost column. Take the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. So I'm going to get 2y minus zero. So the partial derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to y is 2y, and then subtract the partial derivative of e to the x with respect to z, which is zero, and now let's do j. So again, cut the top row, this time cut the middle column, and I have the partial derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to x, minus the partial derivative of yz with respect to z. And since the sign alternates here, the, my j component is going to be multiplied by negative 1. And now let's do k. So this time I cut the rightmost column and the top row again. I have this 2 by 2 matrix. So I have the partial derivative of e to the x with respect to x, which is e to the x. Subtract the partial derivative of yz with respect to z, which is going to, ah, excuse me, with respect to y which is going to be z. All right, so now I just need to evaluate this at the point. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug a 0, everywhere I see a y, a 1, and a z, a 2. So 2 times 1 for the i component, which is 2. Negative, negative 1 for the j component, which gives me positive 1. And then 1 minus 2, negative 1 for the k component. And now I just need to dot that with the normal vector I got. So let's go ahead and do that. So when I multiply the i components of these vectors, I get 2 over root 3. Then the j components, I get 1 over root 3. And then the k components, negative 1 over root 3. And 
And then these two terms cancel each other out, and I'm left with 2 over the square root of 3 as the rotational density of f at this point in that given normal direction.